Hi, today we're going to set up a really cool new feature called State Animations in Quest. And what this does is simulates Figma Smart Animate, where we can animate between states like prototyping. But we're not prototyping anymore, we're actually making it real. So what we're going to do is show you how to do that in Figma, how to set it up, how to go to Quest and set that up, and then how to download your component and have all that working. So we're going to do a couple examples, but the first example here is this card animation. And as you can see, all I do is have two variants. You go to the prototype and you can see I don't have any prototyping set up because we're not actually going to be prototyping. We're going to set that up in Quest. But what I do want to do is set up the two variants. So basically what I have here is one card and you can see it's a little bit smaller. In the second variant, I expand the image. I reveal this text down here and there's more rounded corners. There's more darker drop shadow. Basically, I'm going to be animating all these different subtle features together all at once. And the, to do this, you're just going to need the Quest plugin. And we're going to go here and just hit export component right now. And we're going to take this, it's going to go and export that to Quest. And we're going to set up the rest there. So this shouldn't take more than just a couple seconds. And we'll be done and we'll be ready to go to show it to you. Right now, all it's doing is combining the, the images, the text, all the data that we need and sending it to the platform. So once we get in here, all I really want to do is have this be like a hover animation. So as you can see, this is the component and I have different variants so you can select them up here. I can go and check out the other one. I'm actually using a different library in case you're wondering. I think this is a different MUI library so that's why the color is different on the button but we can fix that later. But just for this example, what I'm going to do here is click on the main top layer of the component. So I'm going to go here and we're going to choose Animate State. And that's it. All we're going to show you in this is that I want to set this up while hovering. You also have the option to click or just have it do it while it appears. But I really want to set this up for hovering for the example. Also have timing. This takes 0.75 seconds. You can choose any default here. I'm going to say 0.5. You could even say 0.55, anything you want. This is the delay. I'm going to actually set this to zero. And uh, there you go. Now I can hit preview right here and you can see it actually work. Very cool. Um, also, I might want to just change the ease type. I'm going to say back ease out. So I have several options. And when that, you know, that all looks good, I'm going to go up to preview and take a look there. Now, in preview mode, I should be able to actually interact with it. So what we're going to do is roll over this and see that work. That's got a nice little cool bounce animation as well. So as I go in and out, it bounces up and down, and I can see the content being revealed. Again, all these little subtle things are happening. The corner radius is getting bigger, the drop shadow is getting darker, things are being revealed. Uh, stuff that would take you a long time to set up if you were doing this individually with different elements inside the component happens immediately. Very, very cool. So now we're going to go and just give you one more example. Uh, this doesn't have to be just between two states. It can be between several. So in this case here, I have this tab animation. And what I want to do is actually make a slideshow. So in this case, I have three different variants. And each one of these is going to be clickable. And you have a little bar at the top that's going to slide over. I set this all up in Figma already. I'm changing the colors of the text depending on it. I'm moving this over depending on what slide I'm on. And also, if we drill down into this, there's a slide container with several different slides. So in the second section here, if I go to the slide, all I did was like pull this over. So I set them all up in auto layout and I just pulled it over. On the second one, I want this to be the one nice and centered. So this is my second slide. Same thing with the third. I just moved it all the way over. You can see some of them peeking over here. Uh, one thing to note, you can't have clip contents because then the API in Figma will not export it, but you could play with that later to fix it in a different container. But just for this example, I just want to let you know that uh, that's why you see them peeking out. Otherwise, the API will not export it for us. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just sync this. And we're going to skip ahead in the video. I think this is going to be a bit, well, never mind. Very fast for some reason. Faster than the other one. Uh, we're going to go right here and we're going to set this up. Now again, I'm just going to set this up on the different uh, buttons here. So I'm going to say, hey, this is the one I want to click. I want to click this and this. So the first thing I do here is just go here, create a state animation. 
it automatically goes to two because we're trying to be smart about it. But in this case, I just want this to be step one. I'm going to remove that uh, delay. Same here. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to set up another four click. Step two, this is actually correct. And on the last one, same thing, animate state, click, move that to three, change that to zero. Great, now it processes, we have the preview mode ready to go. We're gonna go to that and take a look at it. And now when I click on this, you can see we set up a whole slideshow. So you can go back and forth, you can click it as fast as you like. All this is set up in just a couple seconds in Quest. Um, bring prototypes to life, this is real. I'll go back and show you. I can go here and download the code. You can choose, I can app package, just the component files, JS, TS, whatever you need, hit download. And then you have your component ready to go. You can put this into your React uh, app and voila. Very cool.